welcome to today's episode of the Bowtie Guy Podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the qualities of effective teachers, specifically the prerequisites of effective teaching. We're going to highlight the five characteristics of an effective teacher as prerequisites to come into the profession. What are those prerequisites? Well, first and foremost, we're going to talk about verbal ability. We're going to talk about content knowledge. We're going to talk about educational coursework. We're going to talk about teacher certification. And we're going to talk about teaching experience. This is all highlighted in the Handbook of Qualities of Effective Teachers, written by James H. Strong, Pamela D. Tucker, and Jennifer L. Heinemann. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about this verbal ability. Now, you need to understand that verbal ability has a positive effect on student achievement. Now, that is based on a substantial amount of research. So, verbal ability. Does the teacher have the gift of gab? What am I talking about with the gift of gab? Do they have the ability to articulate and uh, synthesize some high academic vocabulary into child-friendly terms where they can easily manifest that information into something that they can build for transfer. They can transfer that knowledge into different disciplines. Next, let's talk about the content knowledge. So your teachers, your beginning teachers, as a prerequisite, they need to have content knowledge. Content knowledge is measured by majoring or minoring in the subject area or participating in professional development in the content contributes to increased student learning. So that one thing you need to understand is that if you're teaching science at the middle school, but the only kind of experience that you have is teaching math, I don't think that that's synonymous with one another. Though science and math can scaffold upon one another and both are very similar in the disciplines, you, you can't call apples oranges and you can't call oranges apples. If you're trying to become a science teacher, you need to be certified in the domain of science in the appropriate certification area. Let's talk about educational coursework. So educational coursework is a stronger predictor of teaching effectiveness than grade point average or test scores. So you need to think about all of these hoity-toity Harvard grads with a 4.0. You know, that's not as uh, impressive as someone who has a wide variety and uh, a wide uh, package of educational coursework. For teachers who embrace the concept of lifelong learning, continued professional development in their field results in increased student achievement. So think about field experiences. If you're going to hire a brand new teacher, what kind of field experiences do they have to offer? Have they been around the world? Have they seen third world countries? Have they uh, participated in field experiences in places of uh, socioeconomic uh, struggle? Um, what kind of diversity has that particular teacher candidate have, have they seen? Okay, because that right there means a lot more than how well they can do on a test in the classroom. I want to know what they can contribute to the profession. What kind of experiences they have that can add to the team, okay? Now, let's talk about teacher certification. Regardless of the type of certification that a teacher holds, teacher certification results in teachers being more effective than their uncertified counterparts. Now, I will tell you this. One thing that you need to understand is that if you are a music major, if you are a music major teaching kindergarten through 12th grade, Okay, you don't have any business trying to lead, guide, protect, project, lead to the to the to infinity and beyond in the in the in the realm of achievement in early childhood education. So what am I saying? You need to make sure that you are prepared for what it is that what is the mission that you're going to be encountering. You're going to have a mission of addition, or by you not being certified in the appropriate area, are you going to be motivated on the action of subtraction because a certified professional more or less will achieve and will perform much better than a teacher who is not certified in their particular content area that they're teaching in. If they're not certified, a teacher that is certified will outperform them every time. And that's based on substantial amounts of research. Last but not least, teaching, teaching experience. Now teaching experience up to a point is influential in teacher effectiveness, particularly in the areas of planning, classroom management, questioning, and reflection. Now that's based on lots of research, okay? Now, what does that mean? So you need to understand that you can't teach experience, all right? You can't teach experience at all. 
But I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. We will holler at you later, but those are five prerequisites for the qualities of effective teachers. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.